Välkommen. Welcome to this recorded demo in cluster analysis, how to do that. And uh, the agenda is to go through the goal and rules and then the background to the cluster analysis. And uh, I will do a cluster analysis in SPS statistics on four index variables and then looking at the results. The goal is to get to know which cases are similar to each other, so C groups among the people. And how many variables you should use is about 3 to 10. And the variables should be numeric or dummy coded. They cannot be correlated, so factor analysis is good to do before you do a cluster analysis. And the variables should also be standardized when you're doing a cluster analysis especially if they have different scales. The background is that I would like to find out among the traffic behaviors which people is similar to each other. And from the beginning we had a, a lot of attitude variables about how people like to drive in the traffic, the car. And from a factor analysis we got four different groups of variables. So I have made four index. What I have done is to do a new scoring. So the first three variables has become uh, index. I have made the mean value of these three variables. And from the beginning, the variables were coded from one to five, where five is I agree, and one not agree. And this three is about likes to drive fast. Then we have another group that is the last one um, that we can see under the orange circle. I find it hard to do a parallel parking. I'm often worried and so on. So I have made an index that I called worried. We should have a look in my program, so we can have a look here. So my four index is speed, technical, public transportation, or worried. And the meaning is that the first person likes the speed, the maximum is five. He or she likes technical and don't like to take the public transportation and is worried in the traffic. So I would like the program to make clusters that is based on these four variables to see who is who are similar to each other. And cluster analysis is based on distances between people like that and uh, variables together. So let's go to the analyze and then the classify two-step cluster. And I choose the four variables. And as they are continuous, they have this ruler symbol, I put them into the continuous variables box. You click on the arrow and you get it there. If you have categorical variables like this one and this one, then you put it here. I also would like to save the cluster membership. So I click on the output. And I can say that I would like to create cluster membership variable here, and then continue, and OK. So I get the results. I double click on the results. And we have two separate windows. The, the first window is how good is the quality of the cluster analysis. And it's good. It should be in the yellow or the green box. And to the right, we can see the cluster sizes. That's also good. I have about 30%, 30-40% in each group. If we go to the bottom part of the left window, we change from modal summer to clusters. We can see the different clusters. I have three clusters. And if it's a dark blue color, then that's a variable that is very important for the analysis. The public transportation was the most important variable here. And on the second place was worried index. If I click on this first cluster, 
that also show the mean value set. You can see to the right a cluster comparison that is very nice to have a look at. You see boxes here, and in the middle of the box, you can see um, the median. And we can see that this group, the first group, don't like public transportation at all. Very low value here. And if we look at the worried variables, we can see that they are not worried in the traffic. The technical, they have a technical interest. And they also like speed. So if we click on the next column to the left, I just can click on that one. I just uh, mark the two, both of them, and we can now have a comparison. So I can see the red cluster, cluster number three. It's the opposite from the yellow blue one. We can see that these people in this group they like public transportation, but they are very worried to drive a car. They are not technically interested, and they don't like speed. If we have a look at the last cluster, the number two cluster here, that's the dark blue cluster. We can see that they like very much public transportation. They are a little bit worried in the traffic. They like technique, and they like speed. So we have three different clusters, and they are also saved. So let's go to my window where I have the data, and we can see here that we have different cluster memberships. The first three belongs to cluster number one. So these three people are similar to each other among the variables. We have number three here, this person, and we have also two. I recommend to put a label on each of these groups so you understand them better. So I have done that before. So number one is no public transportation, not worried, like speed and so on. And the, the label, value labels, is something that you put in here from the variables group. You just click there and you click on the values here and put it in. So. Um, what about the differences between these three groups? If I go to the tables menu, I would like to see that. And uh, I take the cluster membership variable, and I think maybe that gender could be important. And I can change the count from the count to the row person instead. I do that and then click OK. This is in Swedish, but we see the male first row and the woman is in the second row. And we can see that the female, among them, 55% is worried. So there are some differences. What about how often they drive to the, the work for the car? So that's the in interesting also. I would like to go back and put it in. I have it here. I put it to the right and click OK. So now we can have some um, level, two levels in my tables. We have gender and how often they are driving the car to the work. And we have a high number here among the females that is never driving to the work. 71% is for it. So thank you very much for watching this. And uh, welcome back and see more of the recordings I have. Thank you.